Let's hop out of our seat here. Okay, Commander Courtney, we're gonna go go to bed. I mean, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm, we're gonna go to we're gonna sleep. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sleep. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival. We are on version 1.2 now. Um, for myself, it's actually been about a week or more uh, since I recorded the last episode because I kind of got ahead of you guys. Um, and that's uh, by design uh, because I want you to know that the day that you see this episode, which should be October the 19th, um, I am actually going to be out of town uh, for about nine days on a business trip to las vegas um and while i'm gone of course i won't be able to put out any content um so um there's probably going to be uh, a few days towards the end of that <clears throat> uh, period where uh, there won't be any videos but i will pick a right back up when i get back which is going to be uh, the f let's see what date is that going to be i should be back on wednesday the 28th so sometime between the 28th and the 29th or so, um, I'll resume the series. I'll try and get a couple more episodes out if I can, um, you know, before I leave, because um, today is the 11th of October. So I do have, you know, a little bit more time uh, before I leave. And so I am trying to get ahead of you guys a little bit. So we'll see how things go. But there, like I said, there might just be a couple of um, a few days towards the end of that business trip uh, where you won't have any new videos until I get back. Okay, so enough said about that. Uh, we are currently on um, 14 hours and 25 minutes left on the black light. And uh, one of you guys told me in the comments that if I go down to the planet and I sleep at night, that will actually count towards advancing that time, um, which is fantastic. I, I didn't even, that had never even occurred to me. And the reason it hadn't occurred to me is because this is, you know, this is actual uh, real time. This isn't in game time. Um, so I, you know, I just, I never figured that sleeping overnight would affect that, but apparently it does. So that's really good information to know. I just haven't been back down to the planet in, for, for a while yet. So we're going to try and take advantage of that as much as we can. Uh, we're going to continue uh, working on the quest line. So we just finished off world grave and the next part of our quest line is, um, ancient revelation. So we got to go back to our uh, own system and find, um, you know, start that quest, which I've actually done two or three times in the past, but we'll do it again. Now, as far as version 1.2 goes, um, I read through the patch notes and probably the the biggest thing that's, that stuck out at me, uh, at least in terms of fixes, uh, was that Elgon finally fixed the issue with the grass and trees and shit um, growing in the POIs. <laughs> So it's like, uh, finally they fix that. That's just so, it was so irritating. So, uh, you know, there were a lot of other fixes and a lot of changes stuff about, um, you know, the asteroid or the planetary rings are now, um, enhanced, I guess. Um, and some other stuff like that. So, uh, there was nothing at all in those notes that indicated we had, you know, we had to start a new save. So we're going to continue, of course, on this save, uh, as we go along. Uh, one other, just quick side note too. I'm, I'm actually rendering out a video as I'm recording, just because I, I kind of need to, to uh, for time reasons. So hopefully that doesn't affect, uh, you know, the performance of the game too much. Um, you know, if we start seeing some stuttering and stuff, well, well, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If it gets too bad, I'll just stop the recording until the render's done and then pick it up from there. Okay, so what are we doing right now? We are currently in the, um, where are we at? Uh, we're in the, the Grigo Gamma system. Uh, I've been here before, but the main reason I came here uh, was to do some ice mining uh, for production of um, fusion cells. So we have uh, fusion cells cooking up, um, just, you know, as, mu as many as we can make uh, currently. So I've got, you know, a decent supply of Promethium. Uh, we mined up a bunch of ice, and w I might hit a another ice asteroid or two while I'm still in this system. Uh, but what I did when I logged in is I pulled up next to this wreck, just to kind of check it out, and there's actually some fairly valuable stuff on the wreck. But what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to switch. Do we have medium armor on this ship? Here, let's uh, let's take a look. I think I do. Um, the light armor is not enough to keep me protected from the radiation and from the... Uh, and even from the cold, even with an EVA boost on it, it's still super, super cold outside. 
Um, so I don't want to put the heavy armor on if I don't have to because of the fact that it uses so much... Um, here, let's get this stuff in here too. It uses, you know, so much food. So, medium armor. You know what? I think I have medium armor and I think I left it at the base, which is not helping us right now. Doggone it. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to put our heavy armor on and eat more food. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. Um, this is... Which one of these has all my stuff on it? This one does here. So right now, our light armor is protecting us um, down to minus 301 degrees Fahrenheit. If we put this guy on, and we're gonna, and we already have a radiation boost, uh, we don't need uh, an armor uh, boost on for for this little spacewalk here. So this will protect us down to three uh, negative 333 degrees, um, and it's 326. So yeah, we should be good uh, in the heavy armor. Uh, okay, so let's see. I want to connect to. Uh, how heavy are we in here? It's got the stupid retrieve. Okay, hold on. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, yeah, we got lots of room in here. Okay, so let's connect to here. And I'm going to just kind of show you. I'm not going to go out there. For some damn reason, my shutter sensors keep malfunctioning. I don't know why. Um, you know, they're sometimes they turn off by themselves. But even when they're on, they work half the time and half the time they don't. So I don't know what's going on with that, but... Kind of a pain in the butt. Anyway, this is the ship here, and um, I don't know if uh, I don't know if that's the front end broke off at a ninety degree angle, or if that's you know like the the port side and the whole starboard side got blown up. I'm not really sure, but um, this ship has, in addition to thrusters and that sort of thing, which are always valuable, of course. Um, there is an advanced constructor on this wreck, and there is a, a couple of repair bays, including a T2 repair bay. So that's just too good to pass up. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to salvage this stuff. Um, so this is the advanced constructor right here, and I need to get a core. This ship did, you know, have an, have an, uh, an NPC core in it, and I took that out. Oh, shit. We need to make a core. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. So let's go here. Let's just queue up uh, 10 of those. And we'll have to wait for that to finish. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we've got a, a T2 repair bay here. we got a T1 repair bay there. And an advanced constructor. And then, you know, a bunch of thrusters and some other stuff. So there's actually quite a bit of valuable stuff on the ship. The core, <clears throat> excuse me, the core was right here, and I, I actually blew it up before I started the camera. Um, I wasn't ne even necessarily going to start the camera at this point, but when I saw those valuable items on there, I said, yeah, we, we, need, to, we need to show that on camera because that's some pretty good stuff. All right, so while we're waiting, we might as well extract um, the O2 out of here. So let's switch to the horizon, and we'll put that in the ammo controller. Yeah, let's see, we got 2206, so let's just do 2300. All right, so it takes the O2 out of the place, and let's also grab the fuel. Here's the fuel tank over here. Twenty two thousand seventy four. so let's just do uh, 2075. There we go, got a little bit of, a little bit of fuel out of the deal too. <laughs> Okay, um, I know there's some medium thrusters on here. I'm not sure if there's anything larger. I doubt there would be, but there's there's quite a few thrusters, though, as you can see. I'm not sure what I would do with those at this point because I can't really put them in the factory until the black light's done. Um, there's a sentry gun, too. If I have room, I could haul them back whole, I suppose, and then put them in our deconstructor. Um, that might be something we could do, but they're gonna, they are going to take up a lot of space, though. So once we can put a core down, whoops, uh, we'll uh, we'll see what else is on here. If there's anything else super valuable um, besides those things. All right. So how are we doing here with our 
core. We got a one core there. Okay, cool. After you're done with those cores, I want you to go back to massive fusion cell production. At least until we run out of ice. Okay, so we got a core. Let's just go ahead and plop that down. It doesn't really matter wherever, wherever we want to put it. Uh, tiki. Oh, well, so much for the generator. <laughs> I wish this, I wish the game wouldn't do that. I mean, if it's going to overload the generator, give us enough time to turn the fucking power off first before you blow it up. I might have wanted that generator. Ah. Uh, and, and, you know, why does the AI, why is the AI not subject to the same power restrictions that we are? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's frustrating. Okay. Anyway, whatever. It's just the way it is. We've got to deal with it. Um, okay, let's look at the, the stuff on here. So we'll group everything up. All right, we got ammo boxes, cargo boxes. There's our advanced instructor, which we are definitely taking. Lots of thrusters. They're all smalls and mediums, but man, that is a lot of thrusters, you guys. That's a good stuff. We've got some medical stations. Uh, this is the other really valuable thing. Um. Oh, wow. This has a capital vessel drill, and we still have one generator, too. <laughs> um, is the power... Yeah, turn the power off in this place. That's valuable, too. My goodness. My goodness. Man, if you came across this wreck, you know, before you were able to make the the drill and stuff, that, that would have been a nice find. We're, we're going to grab that, though, too. <laughs> okay, so we got the drill module, medical stations, normal RCS... Sentry guns and a rocket launcher too. Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like do a major full salvage of this ship. We just don't have space for that. But we're gonna mark the things that we want to take for sure. So we're gonna uh, aside from the the thrusters, uh, we want to take the T2 repair bay. So we'll show that on the HUD, uh, the drill module, and the rocket launcher okay um we might grab this too we might grab that too okay so let's see the first thing I want is the advanced constructor so let's turn the, the thing back off so that doesn't continue uh, showing and we are connected to um, the ore controller, which is where I want to be connected, and let's grab that sucker. Okay, uh, let's also grab the T2 repair bay. Um, I suppose we could grab the T1. Let's ho hold off on that though, because those are those guys are heavy. Okay, and then let's see, we need the drill and the rocket launcher, so both of those are off this direction. Yeah, what a nice find. Okay, and... Oh, I forgot to turn it off on the HUD. Well, whatever. Whatevs, man. Okay, got the rocket launcher. And the Jenny. Where the hell's it at? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay, cool. How are we doing on our volume here? We still got about 6,000 volume left. This is um 800 volume. What are we? Let's sort by volume. All right, let's put the ice blocks into um, the ammo controller so that they can be used for that. I'm going to put, like, maybe half of this crushed stone in there, and then I think we're going to trash the rest of it. Easy, 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 easy to come by. Okay, so 
this is what's taken up our volume. So yeah, I think we I think we can grab that other um, T1 repair bay. And then what we'll probably do is start grabbing as many medium thrusters as we can. And I'm just going to take those back home and put them in the the deconstructor. I mean, once we get the black light in, I don't have any plans whatsoever to do anything more with capital vessels in this playthrough. So we don't really need capital vessel thrusters whole anymore. Um, they would be useful to feed into the factory for, you know, maybe we'll bring in our our tier four J jet. So if we were going to do that, I should leave these here and then come back for them later. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. So yeah, we will, let's mark this wreck wreckage. Um, we're going to call this, um, has thrusters. Let's call it wreck as thrusters. Can we spell the whole word? Nope. Okay. Um, and we're going to mark it uh, as a ship and show it on the HUD and we'll keep it. But I'm not going to put it as a waypoint because I don't want it showing up on the HUD when we're not in the system. Cool. All right. Good deal. So, yeah, we can come back here at some point um, when we're ready to start working on the on the Tier 4 Jade Jet and harvest all this stuff and put it in the factory so that'll be that'll be good all right so let's see what's what's up here i think we are gonna go ahead and head back to our own system i might hit whoops i might hit one more um ice asteroid whilst i'm here just so i can keep that uh, production going <coughs> excuse me for the um How is it that my O2 is still full? I was just out in space. Oh, because I switched suits. That's right. Um, so we can keep the production, you know, of the fusion cells going. Um, but then what we'll do is we'll we'll get started on the next uh, quest line. I want to go back down to the planet, too, and try that little trick about sleeping overnight. I wonder, too, if you could, if you could trick it by landing right at sunset... Sleeping till morning, getting in your ship, flying, <laughs> you know, flying until you get to sunset again, landing the ship, sleeping, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know, though, if that works in a capital vessel. Maybe it only works in your base. I don't know. We'll have to try it. We'll have to try it. It'd be worth it. Worth a shot for sure. All right. Let's see. Where's the next ice asteroid? That's the way station. Um probably going to be this one here yeah because i i think ice asteroids are the only thing that's in this system so we've already mined that one we've got that one and this one so this one that's kind of off our starboard side is probably going to be the closest so guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the camera i'm going to mine this next ice asteroid and then i'm going to go back to our planet um and get into nighttime and then I'll start the camera at that point and we'll, we'll just do a little test and see how uh, you know much sleeping at night reduces the time on the black light um, after that uh, then we'll start uh, the next uh, the next quest um, whatever it's called legends agents here how about if we just look at it instead of guessing ancient revelations there we go <laughs> all right guys we'll see you in a bit all right guys we're back and uh, we're at the south pole and uh, just kind of keeping ahead of the sunset a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is we're going to touch down right here. And uh, see if sleeping in our capital vessel will work, as opposed to sleeping in our, uh, our base. So let's touch down here. Right at the edge of the pole here, where it starts to get cloudy. Okay, let's hop out of our seat here. Okay, Commander Courtney, we're gonna go go to bed. I mean, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm, we're gonna go to we're gonna sleep. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sleep. <laughs> Jeez.
Jeez. Uh, yeah, anyway, moving right along. So let's go ahead and eat something because <laughs> we're kind of hungry. So we'll wait until it uh, the sunset occurs. So we got seven in-game minutes, which is more like seconds in real life. And then we'll see uh, if it lets us sleep and how long it'll sleep. I think based upon the way the planet planets tilted, I think the South Pole is going to have longer nights than the North Pole, but I'm not 100% positive about that. <sighs> okay, so 14 hours and 29 minutes till sunrise. Let's see if we can sleep here. Oh, actually, before we do that, though, um, 13 hours and 52 minutes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, because look, it's uh, now it's only seven hours until sunset again, so definitely longer nights here in the South Pole. Okay, so how did that affect our time? I did a little bit. We 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 gained, we chopped off about a half an hour or so off of the time. So now the question is, I'm curious now. Um, let's see if we can exploit this a little bit uh, more this is more for science guys <laughs> it's more for science because i just want to see if it's actually going to work um so let's see we need to head east again let's get out of the fog too so we can see what the hell's going on oh well i guess the whole planet's encased in fog now Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the South Pole on every planet in this game has longer nights, or if it's if if it varies. So that's something you guys would have to test if you were gonna do this little experiment. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get right right before sunset and then sleep again and see if it shaves off another thirty-ish minutes from our our factory time. Because, man, that's, uh, that'd be a way to do it, I guess. I mean, you could kind of roleplay it in thinking, well, I don't have anything else to do because I'm just waiting on the factory, so I might as well sleep the whole time. <laughs> okay, we're getting close. I hope that uh, whatever our new planet is, our permanent home planet, that it'll have lots of nice sunshine and none of this rain. It rains a lot on the swamp planet, which is to be expected, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. In Project Eden, um, one of my Project Eden playthroughs, I'd say, I don't know, maybe about a year or so ago? I can't remember how long ago it was now. I um I settled on a tropical planet and that place was just gorgeous. Um very pretty, you know, kind of azure blue ocean and lots of pretty flowers and that sort of thing. It was you know, definitely the the neatest looking uh planet I've ever seen in this game, Project Eden or otherwise. So it'd be cool if we could find another one of those. I if you guys didn't watch that series, you know, I, I set up a, I built the base right on the, on the shore of an island. It was really neat. Um, we never actually continued that series though, because, uh, you know, as usual, Elian came out with a new update that pretty much caused us to have to start all over again. Uh, okay. So it is another 14 hours till sunrise. We don't have to get right at the edge of night okay so let's take a look we have 13 hours and three minutes okay let's sleep okay now what do we have 12 hours and 18 minutes wow that took off um that took off almost 45 minutes about 45 minutes in fact really close 40 maybe 43 minutes in total 
Whew, that's good to know. That's good to know. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, and do this just over and over and over and over and over and over again until it's ready. But, you know, we're going to continue working on the quests in the, you know, in the series. But I might do this a little bit off camera just to speed it up though too. Because, you know, at that point, guys, it's, it's really more of a time in, in real life to spend waiting on this kind of thing. So if we have other legit things to do that are entertaining and will advance the series, like the quest line, while we're waiting, sure. But if it gets to be a point where I'm just sitting around not doing a damn thing, waiting for the factory, then it kind of makes more sense, you know, from an, again, an in real life perspective for me to kind of cheese this a little bit to speed that up. But anyways, it's good to know that, um, you know, that, 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 that works. Very useful. Very useful to know. Okay. Let's just do an Atmo hop here, uh, to the mountain base. One of the things I've noticed here in 1.2 is it seems like it's, um, I haven't decided for sure yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to try a little experiment here. So let's get our heading. Okay. Now we're going to turn our inertials off so we can drift. But I, I was noticing when I was in that other system moving towards the, um, the ice asteroid, it seems to be a lot harder to correct your heading while you're drifting without first per, uh, putting your inertials on. So just to kind of see that in action, I'm going to turn, you know, to the port side a bit, uh, but we're still heading, you know, that direction, right? So if we start a burn in this direction, it, okay, it changes it. It changes it. Maybe I was just, I don't know. It seemed like it wasn't working like it normally would, but I guess it is. So I could have been, uh, obviously was probably mistaken about that. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to go back to the base to do some inventory management. And then, um, gosh dang it, we're all already almost running out of time. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't think we really have enough time, guys, to start the next episode. Uh, so I think we're, this is going to be just a little bit of a shorter episode than normal. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start the next episode and I will meet you at the quest location where we will continue the storyline. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And don't forget, I am going to be gone until um, October the 28th. I will try and get a few more pre-recorded videos so you're not uh, without old guy Imperion for that entire time. But there'll probably be a few days towards the end of that business trip where... Uh, the videos will will stop until I get back. Okay. Thanks guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.